this is the ICAC 2024 science paper 2 chemistry. The paper was held today and as you know there is section A of 40 marks and then we have section B of 40 marks. In this video I'll be solving section A and the MCQs. Check with this paper what you have written whether it is correct or no and then write in the comment box whether you got the correct answers or not. Watch the video till the end. Choose the correct answers to the questions from the given options. Do not copy the questions which means you will just write number 1. It will be A, B, C, D. Write correct answers only. Do not copy the question. Now unsaturated hydrocarbons undergo unsaturated hydrocarbons means they are not saturated which means they will have presence of double bond or triple bond which means they will undergo addition reactions not substitution so the answer is a and we write addition reaction now for the second one onwards i am just going to write the options a b c or might just tick mark let us come to the second part. In the second period, neon has maximum ionization potential because now remember neon is your group 18, which means its electronic configuration is going to be 2,8, right? Now, also we know that it's got stable electronic configuration and it its last shell is completely filled. Also, it will have more nuclear charge and less atomic radius in comparison. So IP is going to be more. IP is going to be maximum for group 18. It has unstable electronic configuration. No. It easily accepts electrons. Never. It easily loses electrons. No. Outermost shell is completely filled. That is the correct option. So we will write second one as D option. And then we write the outermost shell completely filled. The third one. Copper, zinc, tin are metals alloyed to form. Now this is Cu, Zn and Sn. So it will be bronze. You had to know this by heart. So the third one is going to be C option. The fourth one, metal hydroxide, which reacts with both acids and alkalis to form salt and water will be amphoteric in nature, which means it will be Zn, Al or Pb. Which one is that? Here. So fourth one is C option. Reaction of an alcohol with carboxylic acid in presence of concentrated H2SO4 is from organic chemistry. And the option here is esterification. Where is esterification? So if you knew the definition of esterification automatically, you will have known this. Conversion of ethanol to ethene by the action of concentrated sulfuric acid involves. Now ethanol is like this. It will be a compound with two carbons with OH as the functional group and when this is removed H and OH in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid we will have C double bond C like this. This will be ethene. What has happened? Dehydration has taken place. So the correct option is A. Let us come to the seventh subpart. Oxidizing agent in equation S plus H2SO4 gives 3SO2 plus 2H2O is. Now here sulfur is not the oxidizing agent. It is concentrated H2SO4 because decomposition of H2SO4 releases nascent oxygen which is going to oxidize sulfur to sulfur dioxide. Okay, so that is going to be oxidizing agent is B which is sulfuric acid. Electron affinity is maximum in. Now you can see all these but we'll have to just write a little bit of periodic table here to get uh, a little bit of idea. 
we have Na then Mg in the period 3 ends up in group 18 with argon. Now electron affinity for argon is going to be 0 but we have Li here and we will have Br, Br here. Now we know that your electron affinity increases across the period and decreases down the group. So out of this argon seems to be extreme on the right hand side but it's going to have electron affinity 0 it's going to be Br so the correct option is Br. The compound that is not the constituent of the electrolytic mixture used in hall herolds process. So we have this, this and this. These are the main components of the hall herolds process electrolyte. But what we do not have in electrolytic mixture is NaAlO2. So the correct option is B. So ninth correct option is B. Which one it is? Sodium aluminate. Okay. The tenth subpart of MCQs on passing ammonia gas over heated copper oxide for some time, a reddish brown residue is left behind. We have copper oxide, which is CuO, and reddish brown residue when ammonia is passed. So ammonia is going to be a reducing agent for this, removes this oxygen and it will give copper and then H will take O, it will give us H2O and N2 will be the gas evolved. Now this is a reddish brown residue. What is it? What property of ammonia is demonstrated here? Oxygen has been removed, so it is reduction. So it will be the reducing property. Rotten egg smell is due to the liberation of hydrogen sulfide gas. This everybody should know. Alright, so far everybody is understanding and I hope everybody has got full marks so far. Let us come to the twelfth one. Ammonia gas is collected by downward displacement of air because ammonia is lighter than air. Where is it? Here. Okay, so the correct option for the twelfth one is C where we say lighter than air. Thirteenth one. Which of the following would occupy 22.4 liters at STP? Now 22.4 liters means it must be the one mole of the substance. Let us look at oxygen gas the formula is O2 and its gram molecular mass is 32 gram which means it is going to be one mole, two mole of hydrogen gas which means it is going to have two into 22.4 liters and 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of ammonia. Now this is the Avogadro's number. This also means that ammonia with 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 constitutes one mole of it. So where you see the quantity as one mole and one mole, there the volume is going to be 22.4 liters. So the correct answer is 1 and 3. Let's check it out. So 1 and 3 is here. So the correct option for 13th one is B. Let's look at 14th one. In the molecule of water, oxygen atom has, now oxygen atom has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is going to be, this electron is going to be shared with H. So it will have two lone pairs. What is the option here? 3. So two lone pairs is 
what oxygen will have okay we come to now the 15th one the mineral from which the metal can be extracted economically and conveniently is called as the ore very simple paper right now this is where we stop for mcqs question 2 and 3 will be another video i don't want this video to be too long so as of now let us stop here write in the comments how many marks you are getting till then bye